Hello everybody, um, I thought I'd do um, a real-time video just um, sharing my brand new collection with Funky Fossil. Um, it's a flamingo themed one, as you will know if you saw Sarah's live uh, this week. Um, yeah, flamingo, everything flamingo. So it's got kind of like slightly summery feel. Um, there is one large stamp set with lots of flamingos on and some sentiments and a lovely little feather. Um, and then there's this one which has got a slightly larger flamingo and you can dress dress it up with a bow tie and a crown and a deer stalker hat and a tutu. And then there is this cool like paper leaves um you know with the like i've done um stamps that have had text in before this one's called tropical and it's got really cool uh, text in the leaves so that's that's nice i'll play with that this is a, my favorite stencil the ripple stencil i love this although i think it's caused sarah a few problems cutting it bless her um so yeah there's that one and then this is an exclusive one that sarah has cut just for me to sell um i pestered and pestered for this poor sarah felt so sorry for her uh flamingo feet trails i just love this can't wait to use it and then there's also a paper pad um these are all designed by me as well um and there's all sorts of different uh backgrounds in here that you can use really pretty ones flamingo -y ones one that would be great as a background and ones that you can tear up and use make them into a book and then sentiments that will work a little bit larger in an art journal. So I'm just going to do um, a page in my um, art journal here. I'm going to start off with this one as my background. I'm going to stick some on here and then I'm going to add some stenciling over the top. Pop a flamingo on there and have a little play. So this will be going on my website on Saturday, uh, available for pre-order. Um, so you can get your orders in and they will be shipped on um, Wednesday. I'm just going to close my door one second. There are some little bees making a home under the um under the uh, studio they're not bothering me at all um but they are a little bit noisy so we'll just shut them out right so i'm going to start off with um some really nice greens on the background to complement these colors in the collage paper so i'm going to pop some paint on to get started and then I'm going to stamp the flamingo onto some collage paper, tissue paper. Maybe colour it in a bit once it's stuck on. I'll just show you how easy this collection is to journal with. And I think also um, perfect for card making if that's your thing and you like to make cards too it will also work really well for that because the, the flamingos on the smaller um stamp set are perfectly sized for card making right i'm just going to plug in my there we go just make sure there's not a transparency on the other side that's going to get too hot Right, so what I'm thinking is I will stick this on here and then I'll bring, I might even get my um, leaf stencil out. And I think that's too, it's too big. Yeah, I'll stick that down there like that. So let me grab some ultra thick gel medium is ultra thick it's gone really goopy <laughs> let's stick this down this um collage paper is a heavier weight than it's not like a, a tissue paper at all it's like a, a proper paper 
Um, so the ultra thick gel medium from Dina is really, really good for sticking this down. Or even just a P PVA glue would work really well. Double sided tape, glue stick, anything like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So actually I'm not going to I'm going to use my flamingo trail for this one. I'm going to grab maybe this nice dark green there's a little bit of lilac and pink in there actually it would be quite nice let's go i mean obviously i know that flamingo trails would not be uh, purple and pink but i think that's going to be quite cool so honestly the number of my paints that have got um stuck there we go, that's better. I'm just channeling a bit of Dina and just chopping the end off. Okay, so. Grab a couple of makeup sponges. Do you know, I was just looking for that then, I couldn't see it. Um, I think I am going to just make them come down the page like this. I'm going to start with a bit of pink. So this is magenta and iris, both from Dina Wakely. down here so at the minute I'm just getting a bit of um, background interest on here just that will complement what's going on there already okay give that a quick dry together okay I'm just going to leave those there because I may well come back to those um, I think I want to use my belief stencil maybe just go in with a little bit of green so this one is from a um, previous release with Funky Fossil and I'm not going to put all of the leaves on I'm just going to go in a few places and just have some leaves up here and maybe some down here as well Thank you, Alexa. Okay. Right. Let's give that another dry. Need a little bit of stamping on there as well. So this is my shoot for the stars stamp. I'm just going to add a little bit of text and I'm going to overlap it with the things that I've already popped on there just to create a bit more background interest. Of course I've got to do my dotty stamp. It's so funny when I'm doing my lives if I don't use my dots, people will be like, oh, oh, you haven't put any dots on there. <laughs> right. So I think I'm just going to put that to one side and I'm going to think about um, 
making my flamingo to go on there. So I'll put that over here. I'm going to grab some collage tissue paper. That is plain. Of course, it's not that one. So I'm thinking I was going to use one of the big flamingos, I think I will, and just you can stick over there. So this is the Feeling Fabulous uh, stamp set. So I'm going to pop, pop him off there. It. Whether it is a him, it might not be. This is the first time I've played with these, so it could be really lovely to see it come to life. You never quite know when you're designing things whether it's going to work. Oh, I really like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so there's my flamingo. I think it might be nice to give it a bow tie. Bow tie and a monocle. Look how tiny that little monocle is. <laughs> this is so cute. It's like playing dress up. small okie dokie let's put that to one side so what I'm going to have to do here where I put my flamingo is I'm going to have to add some uh, white to the paper because I don't really want my flamingo to have all of the um, background colours coming through. I want it to be lovely and pink. So I am going to add some white down and that will also help the edges of the collage paper to kind of blend a bit more onto the page. Um, so I'm just cutting this out as close as I can to the edges. sit on there he's gonna look super cool I definitely think he needs to go there right so let me grab some white and I'll pop that little bit of that down where that's going to go just to help blot out that background a bit And what I can do is I can go in after and just like move some of the colours around a bit. So get a baby wipe and then just lift, lift off what I don't need because it's gone a bit big and blobby there. Look, I don't need all that white up there. I kind of just want it to make sure to be enough. And I can actually use the paint to stick it down as well. I'm conscious I've lifted a bit of the green off up there, but I'm not bothered. That's all good. And then just pressing that onto the paint. I can use the paint like glue. So I've disappeared most of the bits that were overlapping with my background. I'll give that a quick dry. And then that's nicely stuck in without it um, affecting the colour that I go to add onto it after. 
and anywhere that's lifting I can just go in with a bit of the gel medium and just stick those edges down okay so he now needs some colour and I'm thinking I might do this with a water brush I mean you could use um, you could use ink for this, you could use Lindy's, anything kind of water soluble that's going to pop a bit of colour on there. And I can build this colour up as I go along as well. Whatever sort of colour you want your flamingo to be. I'm going proper pink for this one. Give that a quick dry and then I'm going to go in again. And darken up some areas. I've just got a little bit of lifting down here. Let's just glue that down. So some of these bits where there are more feathers or in a different sort of shape, I'm just going to go in with a bit more of the dark colour. And then down this edge of the neck. Wow, you're pretty. Okay. It is a little bit of a different style for me, this, um, this release. And um, I've really enjoyed designing these. It has been a lot of fun. I'm just giving that a really good dry. Okay. So. Flamingos actually have black feet and their beak is black and white, so I'm going to leave that like that. Like that. And I might put like a little um, ripple around its feet. I also want to just come around. So I'm just getting a bit of um, the green that I've got left, and I'm just going to pull a bit around here. Let's get a bit more water on that. I want to try and blend some of these edges away a bit better. Just so it disappears a little bit more in places where it's a little bit obvious. I'm just going to pull this green over. I mean, if I could be bothered, I would have cut, fussy cut this out. It's not really my jam, as you know. I don't really like fussy cutting. So I won't be doing that. thinking no what are you doing stop I can bring some splatters and things over that as well 
and I can go in with a slightly different colour. I could even add some white to it as well just to lighten up some areas. I like this brush this is one of Dina's and it's um it's quite bristly so you can get those really cool brush strokes in your work which I really like I really do like especially when you're doing something like um feathers you can get that kind of effect yeah I'm liking that that's nice okay let's give that a quick dry and then I think I'll just grab my stubble oil pencil I'm just going to pull some of these lines back in so they're a little bit darker might even go over some of these on the body and just pull those out a little bit because they've kind of disappeared underneath the colours which is okay but I want them to be a bit more obvious so I'm, I'm not going for exact here I'm just pulling them out okay that's my little flamingo it's looking pretty cool there actually I do like that right so i think some white splatters would work nicely um before i go any further i'm just trying to find my splatter brush you can never have too many splatters can you i don't think so what do we think it's looking pretty cool oh lola in the garden it's actually done a splatter as a catch light that's really funny that's not intentional but you know i'm not going to <laughs> i'm not going to get upset about that i think that's quite cool so this corner's just lifting here so i'm just going to grab a little bit of ultra thick stick that back down tell it to stop being naughty Now then, shall we see about adding on the monocle? And a bow tie. It's very small. It'd actually just be easier to draw a monocle on. I actually think it might. Let's just stamp it on. What am I doing? Honestly, talk about making life difficult. Stamp it on, Claire. Seriously. Right, so it's going to go. bother with the monocle I might leave that off but I think I will use the bow tie and there is actually space for a hat I could oh I was thinking instead of collage paper I am thinking on my feet here so sorry I'm dithering about just grab a bit of paper. Which hat shall I use? The top hat. The top hat and bow tie. Let's go with that.
awful they are. Right, let's give that a quick dry. And then get some colour on those. I think we need to go with a, a pop of colour for this. I'm going to go orange, I think. For the bow tie. Once I've got that stuck on, I'll probably put a bit more um, black onto it. So, as I said, this release will be in my shop for pre-order um, on Saturday, which is in fact tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, so it won't be shipped until Wednesday, but... Um, you can get your order in if this is something that you think you might like to have in your crafting stash. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I can see that these would work really well for um, cards as well. So, you know, if you are a multi-talented arty person, <laughs> you could... Use these for your journaling and for your card making. Okay. I really like that hat. I think that's super cool. Let's just give it a bit more black. And I think I want to grab a paint pen. No, not pink, because there's a lot of pink on there already, isn't there? Can just darken up this orange. I'm conscious you might not really be able to see this very well, but I'm going go in with some turquoise spots or something like that. sec so you can see how cool does he look <laughs> right um i think we probably need um a sentiment on there i might use one from the paper pad don't be afraid to stand out how about that this one here to use that quote I'm also going to grab this stencil mm, maybe not I'll use that on a different page 
Where's my glue? I feel like we just need a little bit of um, white on his body just to come on white pen you can do it maybe you can't what is the matter why are you not are you empty Maybe you are. Okay. All right then. Please tell me that I'm not the only person that talks to their supplies. <laughs> I feel I might be, but you know, that's all right. I go with that. And then I might just go in with some more circles here, just so those don't feel like they're all alone. There we go. Don't be afraid to stand out. There he is. And he's looking smart and fancy. Ready for a night out on the town. Ready to find a flamingo friend. This is where I start faffing, isn't it? <laughs> I might just pop a little catch light in that eye. See if I can bring that to life a bit more. There we go. That's better. OK, so I will do some more um, little demos using my stuff. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, like I say, if you're interested in getting your hands on this um, delicious release, uh, you can head to my website and get your pre-order in all these lovely things exclusive stencil that you can only get on my website um, yeah there we go so thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye